So in this video, I'm going to explain the specification of lathe machine. To specify lathe machine, you need to provide detailed information about its various features and specifications. Here is a comprehensive list of parameters you should consider when specifying a lathe machine. One is distance between centers. In the lathe machine, there is a live center and dead center. So the distance between these two uh, centers are main requirement. That is the distance between centers. And overall length of bed. For a lathe machine, what is the overall length of machine that you are going to specify? Third one is the swing over carries. So the maximum diameter of the workpiece rotate about carries. Okay. So there is a, some gap you should provide so you can uh, um, manage the work pieces which rotate over a carriage. So that is required swing over carriage and swing up the job over lathe bed. Sometimes the carriage is not the only the lathe bed is there or is the maximum diameter the size of the work piece can be able to fit and it can rotate uh, over a lathe bed that uh, specification and one more the swing up job over gap in the bed. Every machine there is a gap in the bed uh, nearer to the headstock is provided. Uh, so what is the maximum job that can be accommodated in that gap also you can specify for a particular machine. Next spindle bore. So what is the maximum diameter of the spindle bore can be accommodate the bar stock of the work pieces. Next spindle speed range. What are the speed ranges are available in the spindle so that too you can operate the lathe machine at different operations. For example, for thread cutting we required um, um, the moderate uh, speed of the uh, workpiece whereas in the uh, plane turning at step turning required high speed of range. So like at different operations we require different speeds that can be possible or not that also you can uh, verify that is a spindle speed range. Chuck type. What type of chuck is required whether it is an independent chuck or self-centered chuck. There is a three jaw chuck, four jaw chuck and collets are available. So which one you want that also you can specify and bed width and length what is the bed size that is a width and length that also you can um, mention then motor power what is the horsepower of the motor is required to run your lathe machine that also you can specify then feed rates what feed rates you are expecting from this uh, lathe machine that is a feed uh, for revolution so for how much amount it will move for each revolution that also you can specify in terms of feed rates and thread cutting capability what type of threads you can able to cut on the lathe uh, machine so there is a several type of uh, thread profiles are available which uh, thread profiles we are going to cut in lathe machine that also you can specify that is a thread cutting capability and center height so what is the dead center live center height from the bed that height also can specify that will decide the maximum diameter of the workpiece can be accommodated on your lathe machine that can be uh, machining various operations then type of lathe so which type of lathe whether it is a center lathe or engine lathe capstan lathe like several uh, lathe machine types also there which type uh, category you require that also can specify then brand and model. Nowadays the brand, I want HMT lathe machine, I want Akrama lathe machine, like you had brand and what model you want, that also you can specify. So these are the, the 15, the specifications are required clearly to get the your optimal size of lathe machine for your requirement. Now let us see with the help of the diagrams so with some of the parameters I want to explain. Now let us see that uh, now this is the, the lathe machine. Uh, le, le, let me keep the laser point. So this is the lathe machine and this is the lathe bed. So now you can see that this is the lathe bed. On the top of the lathe bed, left side, we can mount the um, see nearer to the headstock. They are providing some gap. That gap we call it as a gap in the bed. So the gap in the bed generally we are providing. So whenever you are going to machining, all the chips are fallen and that all the chips are collected in the bed surface and easy to 
fix the jobs uh, for all the purpose in year and year by this uh, uh, addition we are providing the small gap that gap you can call it as a gap in the bed and you can see that left side you are providing the head stock and at stock you can fix the spindle and uh, the uh, spindle bore and uh, the dead center the dead center you can call it as a live dead center and uh, on the right side you're providing the tail stock and this is a uh, center you can call it a dead center because it is a fixed one it's not mobile and it's used only for the performing the support of the lengthy bars and sometimes you are going to perform the drilling operations you can fix the drill bit here then you can operate the tail stock will move so that that drilling operation can be performed so that's why you can call it as the center is a dead center now you can see that this is the live center and this is the dead center now you can provide this is the carriage the carriage is mounted on the lathe bed guideways there is a two set of guideways are provided in that you are providing the carriage on the top of the carriage the cross slide and tool post all these things will be mounted now you can see this is the the center line of these two centers the live center and dead center okay now the distance between centers is very important the specification of the lathe machine this is the distance between centers that is a one important specification next is the overall length of the bed that is the start from the head stock to the tail stock what is the overall length that also you can specify that will decide how much what is the space is required for accommodate your lathe machine that will tell us the overall length of the bed then swing over carries now you can see that this is the swing over carries the maximum diameter of the workpiece can rotate over a carriage that defined with the help of this swing over carries next here is a swing of job over lathe bed this is the lathe bed or lathe bed what is the maximum diameter of the workpiece can be rotated that can define with the help of swing of job over lathe bed and more, one more here the swing of job over gap in the bed this is a slightly more than this one and what maximum diameter can be accommodate over shorter lengths that can also be possible that can also you can specify with the help of this swing of the job over gap in the bed okay so these are the uh, the important specifications of the lathe machine